Hi everyone. Well, you may be used to uh, Good Friday services, uh, to remembering Jesus' death on the cross, and you may be used to uh, Easter Sunday services as we, as we think about uh, the good news of his resurrection. But what about the Saturday? What about the second day, the Sabbath day, the, the day when Jesus' body lay dead, still, cold in the tomb? We don't really mark that Saturday, do we? In the Gospels, we're told that the disciples observed the Sabbath, the Sabbath Saturday, but they don't teach anything more about it. Uh, we're told that the Jewish leaders they go to Pilate and they demand extra guards be posted at Jesus' tomb. But apart from that, the Gospels are pretty silent about that middle day. I think we can understand it when we think about it. The disciples would be reeling from the sting of death that had hit them. Their master, their friend, the Lord, now lies motionless in a tomb, a one so full of life and joy, full of kindness and wisdom, and now he's gone. And death leaves them, them numb, and death often leaves us numb or disorientated, or perhaps in denial. Its sting hurts us all. And as a society and as individuals, we are feeling the sting of death at the moment, aren't we? Uh, perhaps you as an individual have been affected by COVID-19. Uh, perhaps someone in your family is very unwell or you're living with the uncertainty of whether uh, you will fully recover from it or what might happen to your family. Uh, maybe uh, it's the fear of death. Uh, that is stinging you at the moment. I've met a few people in recent weeks uh, whilst trying to keep my distance who've been paralysed by the fear of this virus, of, of what it might do to them. Uh, to the point when their anxiety is sort of physically showing. Uh, we're living under the shadow of death just like Jesus' disciples were on Easter Saturday. We feel its sting as loved ones are affected and as we're afraid of catching the virus, as we hear of the number of people that die increasing. And death is cruel. We often try and avoid thinking about it, avoid talking about it. We try and avoid it ourselves. But at the moment, despite uh, the glorious sunshine outside, the shadow of death feels like it's everywhere. And in one sense, I want to allow that to prompt you to ask yourself, am I prepared for my own death? Even if it comes many, many, many decades from now, uh, will you prepare for it now whilst you feel its shadow? Well, how can we prepare for it? Well, as we feel its sting, like the disciples on that Easter Saturday, we must look forward to Easter Sunday because Jesus' body breathed again, because he rose from the grave. We must look to Jesus because he brought about the death of death. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 54 and 55, uh, Paul reflects on the resurrection of Jesus. And he says this, Death has been swallowed up in victory. The thing that swallows us death. That itself has been swallowed up in Jesus' resurrection. And he says, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? As you live under the shadow of death, will you look to the one who defeated death, 
who took away death's victory, who took away its sting, who disarmed it. Look to Jesus, the one who gives resurrection life, not only now but for eternity, to all who come to him in faith. Let's pray as we consider that. Our Heavenly Father, as we feel the sting of death, would you help us to turn to Jesus, the one who conquered death, we pray that as we live under its shadow, by looking to his resurrection, you would bring light and bring life into our lives, we pray. Amen. <laughs>